Hello there. Um, welcome to part two of um, creating a portfolio website uh, with October CMS. Um, in this episode, uh, we are just going to update the blog we already started making, not the blog, the portfolio website that has a blog. And we are going to remove um, irrelevant sections and placeholders. We are going to add dynamic placeholders. And then um, we are going to do some SEO. So um, this is like... Um, uh, video for you to really learn how some techniques in doing um, SEO with October CMS and then lastly I'm going to add some SMTP um, credentials so that um, our contact form should work so um, yeah we have this site ready so um, first thing I want to do is to um, yeah let me get into project and that's the folder on this um, this time I'm going to use VS Code to open up the project. I want to do a Control H and um, I want to replace um, every instance of Dev Folio with like fancy S. That's uh, my Yes, and I just want to do that in the HTM files, and I'm going to replace all instances of that. And then the last thing, or maybe not the last, I want to do is to change this name. I am fan. Yes. Um, and what am I? A digital nomad and content editor at statements yeah that's exactly what i am and i want to check out the page again now everything is i am fancy yes yeah and that works um i kind of took off the the details here and um the html stuff um, you might want to fill up this space with some large picture that um, is going to cover up all of this space and you just have the about me section there that's not necessary um that's just going to be some bootstrap styling um next thing i want to do um is to add the post preview so if we look at the blog right here uh where the blog is we see that the post preview is some gibberish so um i want to add a post preview i'll come back here and i'm going to borrow some code from uh, the seo uh i'm just going to move this and yeah you can find the code on the blog or on github where i'm going to put um all of this so if i come to pages uh, or home and i come to the blog section for example um under the preview i just want to add that what this basically means is put um if the post introduction is greater than 100 characters then slice the post um introduction to just be 100 characters strip all tags and end it with um, some three dots to show that it's, uh, it continues otherwise just strip the tags and use it like that because it's the introduction is less than 100 characters so um, if we should get back here um, now we have the post preview there um, working as we want it to next um, thing is I'm adding the placeholder head. If you look at up here, everything is fancy as um, bootstrap template. That's totally crazy. Um, it should be um, ideally just fancy as for the home page and maybe some digital uh, nomad and something like that. And for this other page, I don't want to add a title because it is a, 
placeholder or it's a, not a placeholder it's a layout so um rather i want to add a placeholder uh call head like that and in the project details page if i do that now and um, refresh uh, I open the blog page for example you find out that there's no um, title for the blog page up there it just shows the folio link and so um, to solve that problem I can just add um, this title here in every file with its respective title but instead of doing that I'm going to put this in a partials call head I'm going to create a new file called head HTM partials and put this there so that um name of the site is consistent with the title everywhere that's why I'm doing that and um, the blog details page I'm going to um, in the head I'm going to say uh, full head I think that's how it's done and um, then end the put and put something like that and i want to put um this this folder um no, not this folder it's partial um head and i want to pass it the title um what am i passing as a title it should be um post the title yeah so um should we come back here hopefully everything works um string unexpected token name blog detail right then where did that happen Unexpected to name put head. What am I missing? Let me see. What am I missing? Usually, you yeah, the place for the head and um. Yeah. yeah now that works and the title of the page is up i wasn't supposed to put the head in um better commas or whatever so that's like how to create a blog slash fancy so now we have meaningful links and that helps with some seo but that's not the real seo we're going to be doing i would like to add this to for the project page and rather this will be um project the title so now every page is going to have like a decent um page title um, next thing uh, I want to do is to add some SEO and this SEO is for the blog and if we look at um, the news post the, the news and newsletter plugin um, provided by indicator you find out that there's really some advanced SEO support and you could just copy this code and put in your head and this this snippet of code um saves the simple post as this snippet of code it adds a canonical url which is very important for seo like it tells search engines um what is the most important url that leads to your blog um a general image for um meta information like uh, that would be used for link scraping and stuff like that and then keywords of the post that is made up of the category and the list of tags and here in um, indicator news you already have that when i wrote this for some block um, this was not existing but now it exists so you can just use that and then um, 
some code for Facebook um, optimization and Twitter optimization. So yeah, I'm just going to my copy and I paste this in the head section of the not the project detail of the blog detail. Hopefully, um, there is no uh, there is no error at the end of the day. Yeah, there was no error and if you do a view page source, you find a lot of information, the canonical, the URL, that um, search engines and um, Twitter and Facebook are going to use and it's very, very important. This looks very basic but can really help a blog to thrive um, on social media and on the search engines. Um, you might want to do something similar for uh, the projects page to make them visible too. So you could just copy maybe this first part um, or basically pretty much everything and just change um, where you see post URL to project item URL and, and stuff like that. Post image, just the same thing um, at the level of this part. But to save some time, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to go straight away and see how we can add um, SMTP details. So I'm going to get the SMTP details for um, for Starknet, and um, I'm just going to put the user. And I'm going to come to Devfolio. Um, I think it's admin. And you can you can change URL to become admin, whatever you want in the admin files. So um flexi contact. Uh, I'm going to come to uh, mail configuration first of all. And yeah, I'm going to see I'm using SMTP. Uh, the email should be um, nomad at start .com. and um, the SMTP server, yeah, and the password. I'm just going to copy it from here. Ah, uh, I put it here, and I'm going to save that. Um, apart from the mail gun, you can use something like uh, send pause. Mail gun used to give 10,000 free emails every month. Right now, they modified the plan to bid and a few things have changed. I don't really have the details of how that works, but what I know is with send pause, you can have um, 12,000 free emails a month. And for status, um, just having a large amount of emails, even though you will not use them, just always feel good. So you can check out um, send pause. There are so many um, SMTP providers out there, even Google. Um, so now that this is set up, I want to come back to the Flexi contact form and say recipient email will be numbered at start uh, net. Um, recipient name is Fen and um, subject um, should be uh, what can I put? Mm, the user left some or uh, a visitor left a message for you. Confirmation text, thank you for giving a message. This will be sent to um, the person who fills the form. And then these are for Google Capture settings, which I really don't need right now. And if I come back to um, the site, um, visiting the site from a new spot. And go down to the email form and I say my name is phone and I am writing this email. Um, my subject is um, thank you for this 
tutorial and the message is I really like this tutorial but then if I click send message um everything should work um, just fine hopefully um, that's taking quite a while so um looks like things worked but i haven't gotten um any feedback yet that things work but at the same time i didn't get an error so um that is something um you might want to also check out to improve to see if that worked um with the flexi form there's there are settings to um reset the form when um things get successful so um i think if you should look at the pages um um uh, not here or maybe i'm thinking of something else well um it's not here i don't know but um, those kind of things are possible. I'm just going to go ahead and um, check my email to see if um, that went through. Uh, if the request was actually received or the message dropped by the user was actually um, sent to me. So yeah, from October CMS, um, by default, I'm supposed to change the name uh, to something uh, a visitor left a message for you and here's a message thank you for this tutorial message body i really like this tutorial so that worked now that we got um the email sent um i think that's it um there's detailed explanation or not really detailed some um accompanying uh article that explains certain parts of the video and provide um, certain um, uh, snippets available on stagnets.com and the link is in the description uh, for, 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 for the detailed part of everything I, I think the video is more detailed than the article because you just see me doing everything but um, there are some explanations that are on the article that I don't necessarily say and some resources that um, you could just copy and paste so um, thank you and see you in another tutorial